We discovered that a few of us armed to the teeth with automatic weaponry against 30 knife-wielding enemy bots was a lot of fun. After shipping Counter-Strike's Source in late 2004, we started experimenting with new game prototypes. That basic kernel of small team of friends against hordes of clawing enemies was something we kept coming back to, and we soon realized that the co-op versus the horde game had a ton of potential. We started work in earnest on what was to become Left 4 Dead in early 2005, and in about a week, we had a very rough... ...actual attacks, he was bound in a straitjacket. You knew when he was around because of his crazed, maniacal cackling. The trick to the screamer was that if he saw you, you had a moment to kill him before he ran away. And once the screamer got away from the survivors to a hiding place, he would emit a loud, howling scream that would cause a huge mob of zombies to attack the survivors. While there were several exciting moments of knowing you had to chase him down to shoot him before he screamed, dodging zombies all the way, ultimately it probably noticed him in the crowd. He was cut, and his horde drawing attack eventually evolved into the boomer attack. Believable people for the result. For example, the texture on this car is shared with three different car models distributed throughout the environment. In addition to this one color texture, there is also a mask texture that allows each instance of the car's painted surfaces to be tinted a different color without having to author a separate texture. So for the cost of two textures, you can get four different car models in an unlimited variety of colors. Along with the boomer, the tank was one of our earliest difficult. His death must also be clearly broadcast to players, so that they can tell when they've killed him. This is where the smoker's moniker comes into play. When he's killed, he releases a large smoke cloud, which is not only a visual payoff for killing the smoker, but a clear read that he's been defeated and won't escape to attack again. His cloud also serves as a final act of revenge, obscuring nearby players' visibility, as well as hiding infected within. The tank is an awesome presence on the battlefield. From the start, focusing... Traditional vignetting is... 